This video is making me sad a bit because I really wanted Loewe to do more collaboration with Ghibli. This Ghibli's collaboration introduced me to Loewe. If not for this, I will never be interested into this brand. It has come to an end. They said this is their final collaboration, so let it be. But if I would wish, I want them to do a Ponyo collection, which is about a young boy who is a friend to a goldfish that is desperately wanting to become a human. That's so, so fun to watch or to see translated into ready-to-wear products. Or maybe The Cat Returns, which is the story of young Haru who rescued a feline who happened to be the prince of the cats. <sighs> but I can only wish. <laughs> so, Loewe, please reconsider that one. Alright, so many of you perhaps is new to this channel. So let me introduce myself to you. My name is Roselle, aka From the Abroad, and I am your Pinay expat here in the Netherlands. I love luxury designer items. I cannot buy them all, but for those that I can own, I will show it to you and I will share with you reviews about it. At the same time, I'm also inserting a few um, information videos about our experience here in the Netherlands as expat family. So if you are interested on those kind of videos, I would definitely appreciate if you can just Give me a moment, click the subscribe icon, like this video, and leave your comments because I wanted our community to be interacting. I know you came here for the unboxing. I have three boxes on my back. I'm also excited to use them. So, Loewe have excellently crafted products containing these animations from their past collections and i am sure they will not fail us this time as well they have done it excellently with the totoro collection they also did one the spirited away collection and just to show you one of the items that i got from the spirited away collection i have this beautiful yellow shirt with you bird on it and every time i wore this t-shirt it's just a simple shirt i wore this shirt it always gives me a smile um, because it's just so damn cute and it's still pristine condition after several wear and wash so the quality is nice as i've said the Weves product quality is top-notch and let's not forget the service. I have experienced both pre-sale and after sale. As a matter of fact, I have videos of my experience with them, which I will put in the description section. You can watch it later after this video. Their customer service in store and distance selling is applaudable. I cannot complain. I never felt discriminated. I always felt welcome. And that is very important for me. They won't disappoint. And now for the information of those who are visiting Netherlands or who are living in the Netherlands, finally, they have their own standalone store in Amsterdam. And it is located right across Hermes. So it's quite near. And if you happen to visit that shop, you can look for Wesley. He is a very, very sweet sales assistant and he will guide you along the way. Very, very patient. Okay, let's not drag the introduction and let's dive into the details of the items I got from the house. Moving past. If you are interested on the exact cost here in Europe at this time, in February of 2023, 
I will leave it in the description section so you can look at it later on. All right? So, if you are excited, I am too. Let's start. On to the first item. It is an item with the print of the title of the movie. Yes, this is the item and let's open this together. Maybe your guess is right and what is the first item? It is this moving castle drawstring pouch in canvas and it has calfskin drawstring to close like this. The moving castle is printed on the front, the title of the movie on the back, and on the side, the Loewe brand. It is simple. The item is made mainly of canvas. It is quite spacious. It is like a perfect square because it's 26 by 25. You can put a lot of items in this pouch. And the cost is also affordable. And for those who have not seen the movie yet, this is the moving castle where they live and mostly interact. Calcifer and Hal are the ones controlling this moving house and it is Sophie who is cleaning it. It is very funny. I would encourage you to watch the movie. It is available in Netflix. So that is the first item. Let's continue with the second item. Can you guess what it is? by the box first clue is so easy so you can easily guess it is a ready to wear item all right so then let me show you what is inside to ease up your excitement and the print here for this cover are uh, the items that you can also find in the movie inside Hall's room. Okay, so what I got is Heen Anagram t-shirt in cotton. Let me show it to you closely and far so you can imagine. So, this is a relaxed uh, t-shirt with very simple embroidery of Hin, the dog, and Loewe anagram. This cotton is very breathable, comfortable, and soft. Hin for those who doesn't know, is the dog of Madame Sullivan. He is a spy dog. And at the end of the movie, he actually showed to Madame Sullivan the happy ending of Howl and Sophie. And I, I became confused what really is Madame Sullivan's intention because... I don't know why she didn't react negatively when she saw that Hal and Sophie had uh, a happy ending. So that's a weird part for me, but never mind. Now, on to the part that I wanted to be honest with you. This item, I will be exchanging with another t-shirt. All right. So, I will have instead the t-shirt with Hin, Mark, and Turnip Head on the front and the print of the movie cast at the back. I can't show it to you right now physically because it is not yet with me. It has more characters into the t-shirt it has more print, so it is not that simple. 
and I really want more interesting stuff happening on the shirt. Now, to the last item. Can you guess which bag is inside? Let's open it together. The SA gave me this calcifer tag on it and at the back you can put some sort of message if you wanted to give it to someone else here it is let's open it together can you guess for the last time all right so what i got is a black puzzle bag with calcifer on it she is gorgeous Right, so Calcifer is a fire demon who was saved by Howl in the movie. But they were both cursed. And it is Sophie who was able to free them. Ha! Huh. I think it's a very typical love story. Nothing really so different when it comes to the storylines. But what I love in that movie is Sophie's determination to help them even though she is just a normal human being. Sometimes we humans go out of our way if we wanted to do something. And in many, many scenes in there, I get so connected with Sophie. Now, more interesting for you is about the bag. This is the small size. It is not mini. The hardware of this bag are gold hardwares. It has adjustable and removable shoulder strap. It is inside the bag. And almost no. And it some of part of the hardware have Loewe markings on it. Not all of it. If you don't like to use this, you can just use this um, top handle and it's quite easy to, to use. It has all the flexibilities that we need, especially for the moms out there. The inside of the bag, let me just put this down. The inside of the bag is lined with black canvas with a flat pocket here and a leather tab with a brand marking at the top. I cannot show it to you because it is so dark inside of it, right? Now, it is different from the brown version because they also had the brown tan version of this. The difference is that this have yellow and um, red crystals on calcifer, which pops according to when the light strikes it. It is more expensive than um, the other one by 150 euro. We all know that puzzle bag is by far the most recognizable and classic silhouette of Loewe. This small size is actually not small at all. You can put a lot of things in this and I think this is the perfect size because the mini is so difficult to get in and out of the bag because of this flap on top of the zipper. So if I would recommend a size, try the small first before you go to mini because mini is literally mini. This bag is made of a new material they introduced, which is called the satin calf skin. And it is the same as their Chinese New Year collection. Now, on to the honest part of this video. And this is definitely based on my personal preference. I don't like this leather <laughs> because to me, it literally looks like the satin material and because of that it's a little bit to me more shiny and it is very very smooth 
I hardly can see a grain, a leather grain, onto the surface. And I am missing that. I love Loewe's Napa leather. And that is the reason why she will be exchanged for another bag. It's simply because I don't like the material. But if you like this material type, this is a very, very good choice. A classic silhouette with calcifer, beautiful on front, with, littles of, with little crystals. It's madness. So, I will exchange... Um, this with the Howl tote bag in Anagram Jaguar and Calp Skin. And I am showing you the picture right now. Yes, it is going to be a tote bag. I don't have it yet. So I am sharing pictures that I am shared only. As soon as I have, have her, as I received her, I will show it to you as well. So you know. But now, the final glance of this beautiful execution of Calcifer on a puzzle bag. I almost forgot to say that this puzzle bag is executed with the leather marketry of Loewe. And that is creating those different textures. So you have the smooth leather here and then you have this very grainy Calcifer face in here. I don't know how they do it. I'm not a leather expert, but it is not floating on top, but rather it is flat. And here you can see the flame is moving until the flap together with the crystals. And at the back, I forgot to mention, it has a zip pocket and it is quite deep. So you can put a lot of stuff in here as well. I think the size is almost this size. It has no feet, so you need to be careful on the corners. It is beautiful, but I don't like the material. I hope you had a lot of fun and information out of this video because that is really my intention for you to be guided, for, for me to share my experience. For those who have already bought from this collection, which one did you get? But before we completely end, don't forget to subscribe. So, until the next time guys, it's goodbye for now and enjoy! Oops! If you haven't watched my unboxing of my first Mini Kelly from the Hermes Boutique, you can watch it after this. So, don't forget. Bye-bye!